Hello everybody, Jonks here from Got Friends, and today's just going to be a quick little video. There's been some questions popping up on our official Discord and in the forums about, hey, what does this autopilot expanding feature mean? Um, we know you have a flight director by default in the double ender, so if you guys are not aware, it's just a very simple flight director um, that you've probably seen in our past projects like the Wilga. This one's a more updated autopilot slash flight director that we've built so that it would work with your hardware and software autopilot options, okay? So what does that mean exactly? We'll get to that a little bit in a second, but for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and explain some more uh, navigation options, some of the decisions we made as a developer so that you guys fully understand kind of the gravitation of what I'm telling you in this short little video and how you can use it to um, further enhance your needs for autopilot. And before we start, I just wanna preference that um, this was a inspiring project for us. It, it's a Bush aircraft, okay? So we were really going feature deep into Bush flying, backcountry flying, manual flying, not necessarily following magenta lines, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's people that love doing that. There's people that want to do that. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit in this video how you can accomplish that if you're not aware how. And um, it is possible on the double ender and I'm just, that's a spoiler for you right there. It's possible, I'm gonna show you how. Um, so if you're interested in following magenta lines on the double ender, stay tuned and I will show you that. So uh, first things first, what is the flight director? The flight director is extremely simple. We just have a on and off switch here. And if you turn it on in flight, uh, it will level you out. We have our turn indicator here, and you can change this by degrees. As you turn it, your aircraft will follow that current uh, bank hold, and it will hold you in that bank. And then we have our pitch up and down, and down, it's pretty simple. You know, down, you're gonna pitch down, up, you're gonna pitch up, and um, you're gonna maintain that climb or descent, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick start here, just because uh, this is a pretty quick video here. So Control E, get my parking brake off. We're gonna break all rules here and just go for it. Probably hit a couple vans on my way out. Drop my flaps. Get a quick little ascent here. And get up to an appropriate altitude where I can demonstrate some of this functionality. And that's good enough, right? So I'm gonna go ahead down here, just like I said, and hit the on switch on my flight director. What that's gonna do is it's gonna hold me level, okay? It's gonna hold the current altitude, it's gonna hold me level, and um, if I decide to yank and bank and break out of this, it will automatically turn off the flight director as you saw there. So if you just want to uh, turn it on, you'll fly straight and level. And we really just implemented the flight director on this aircraft, and you've also probably seen it in our Wilga, and that is simply because, you know, we wanted this to be an experience for the backcountry, like I said, but this is very convenient for streamers and for gamers and for people who just want to, um, you know, go use the restroom or they're having a side conversation on one of their other screens and maybe they're not, they don't really feel like paying that close of attention to flying for a second. They need to turn it on. They need to hold a, hold a turn and burn a circle in the sky. They just need to do something so they don't crash because it's better than just hitting escape and losing all control of the game, okay? So... This option is here, and it's very simple. Like I said, you can you can go down here, adjust this knob, and uh, if I go to like 10 degrees, I'm gonna hold a 10 degree bank until I decide to change it all the way back to zero degrees. And then like I said, if you go um, up, you're gonna increase six degrees, so now I'm in a six degree climb. And then we can go back all the way down to zero and I'm back on level, okay? And so something of note, for those of you who wanna know, you have hardware, you have a HOTAS, you have some key binds that you wanna use. We have allowed the flight director to be turned on and off using the recognition lights toggle, okay? So if you go into your settings here, you go to control options, you go to your desired unit, and you search toggle recognition lights, you can go ahead and click this and toggle it to any button you want. And then once you save that, if you click the button, it will turn off the flight director, click it again, it will turn on the flight director back and forth, okay? So if you don't like coming down here and hitting this every time, you just want a really easy you know, button at easy hands reach where you just wanna go straight and level, 
hit that button and you're good to go. So now let's talk a little bit about our options here, okay? So people, when you first start the game, you're going to have one option by default, which is installed. It is the MFD650 by Asobo. And if you're not aware, maybe you are because you've flown the Cabri, it's the same unit that is in the Cabri and we've done just slight modification to it to basically allow this to be an airplane and not a helicopter, okay? And um, it's a very basic unit and this is what you're going to have if you do not have the PMS50 core package installed on your PC. For Xbox users, I am so sorry that you guys do not have navigation options yet. We are going back and forth with other navigation developers and we're trying to, uh, you know, you know, put, push them towards that. But for the most part, they're very limited with what they can do with Xbox and it's not just on their company. There's a lot of factors involved. So for Xbox users, I sincerely apologize. You guys are stuck with this unit. But this unit's not bad. It provides you a map. You can do direct two. So you can get waypoints, you can change your comms, um, you can also go back and do terrain, um, which is pretty neat, and you can set your flight plan. So it's very nice and it's basic, and once again, just prefacing, like, we just wanted this to be a backcountry experience. I know that you guys like using maps, and I'm sorry that this functionality is not quite up to speed yet. We hope that Asobo expands on it in the future. It looks like they do have um, a lot here that's just bl blanked out that you can't use. So I'm hoping in the future that they do expand on this unit and it just keeps getting better and better for you guys. And if something else pops up in the meantime for Xbox users that is better than the 650, we'll make sure to include that option for you guys in the future. Okay, so enough of that spill. Let's get to what you guys want to talk about in this video. So how do I get an autopilot to follow a magenta line then? If this is just simple, it turns on and off, there's only bank and pitch, how do I get some more functionality, okay? So if you have the PMS50 core package installed, then you will also have, if you click the SD card, the GTN650 by PMS. You can also go down here to the MVP50, go down to top display and change it that way. Now remember, this aircraft is fully persistent. So whatever you choose when you get out of that flight and you go flying the next day, it will remember that you're on the GTN 650 by PMS 50. So this should display will pop back up. You set it once, forget about it, unless you want to switch back and forth. So why did I talk about the Asoba one at all? Well, that was for, you know, the Xbox, so they know that they don't have this increased functionality. But it's also because I want to let you guys know that if you're using PMS's, PMS 50's GTN, and you do Direct 2, and then you try switching in flight to Asobo's, it's not going to show the direct two path. Okay, the direct two is independent of the navigation systems. They're not talking to each other. There's some conflicts there. We're going with PMS 50 and seeing if you know if there's something we can do. And we're we're, we're still in talks. And they're aware of the issue. And um, yeah. So once again, I apologize for that, but that's just another limitation of the system that everybody's working through. There's a lot of entities involved. Um, okay. So you got the GTN 650. That means I have autopilot built in by PMS 50, right? Almost, okay? So if you go home and we drag this down and you go to utilities and you drag that down, you'll see autopilot is blanked out. So I know a lot of you are getting discouraged. Well, autopilot is blanked out on the 650. 650. So can I even use it? The answer is still yes. Um, however, not on the 650 unit directly in game okay and so this is once again another thing pms 50 is aware of we've talked about it we're requesting it they know we're requesting it we're one of the few i think maybe only aircraft that has a 650 in the cockpit without a 750 we're just solely 650 till we die right so they're aware of it hopefully um there's something that can be happened in the future with that um, but they have expressed that there is limitations and things um, to deal with resolution and screen space. So I, I know that they, they're aware of it. So um, if you guys personally want to see that, maybe I would recommend contacting them and requesting it. Maybe the more people that do request it, it will reach their, uh, their inbox. But please don't spam them. You know, they're aware of it. Um, and it's something they're looking I into currently. So then how do I use it? Okay, so what you can do up here... If you have PMS 5650 installed, 
there's a GTN 750 on the top panel. Okay, so you can click that. And what it's going to do is it's going to bring up this GTN 750. We'll say power is off. Just give it a second. It might take longer on your first load, but eventually the six or the 750 will load. And for those of you that have multi screens, whoops. Let's see if I can drag this. Um, I believe I'm going to have to explore that. For those of you who have multiple screens, though, you should be able to drag it off into the other screen. Um, I'm not quite sure today. I, I, that was just on the spot thought there, but there, there is a way to do it because I've seen people do it. I've seen people drag this over to another screen. Anyways, so now that we're in a 750, a digital software 750, we can go to utilities and you can now see that the autopilot function is available. So what we've done here, and you'll get this pop up when you first get in, it's basically saying that this won't work with some aircraft. Um, you can just hit OK. We've specifically made sure the double ender does work with this system so that you guys do have options. And what we've done here is if you turn on autopilot using your hardware or using software, in this case, this, this uh, PMS-50, if you turn it on, it's automatically going to turn off and make your flight director unavailable because now the autopilot is overriding your flight director, okay? So if you go turn that on, it's just going to keep turning itself off. You're not, there's going to be a little bit of a bump there, but basically it's just because autopilot is overriding it. It's shutting this unit down so that you can't do anything, which is good because this is what we want. And um, once again, functionality works. If I set my heading to like 250, go ahead and hit enter, turn my heading bug on. You're now going to see my aircraft start to roll to that heading. Okay. So that functionality does work. So the question, how do I get this to follow my magenta line? Okay, and now keep, keep in mind that these two units, the 750 panel and the 650 work together. So if I go back, I can do this on this screen if I really want to. Go to map, I can hit direct to, I can set my waypoint, or you can go here, you can go back, go to your map, go down here to direct to and set your waypoint. I highly recommend that you just keep this page up with autopilot and you use this for your waypoints and your setup because that way you never have to go back forth back and forth between your panels go all the way to autopilot again go all the way back out it's up to you okay and so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and select my waypoint and I'm gonna go all the way back to Diego Garcia yes I'm in the middle of the Pacific Ocean in a double ender makes zero sense there's no mountains around me I know that but I'm gonna go ahead and go back to Diego Garcia Oops. Hit enter. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate my track. So now we have our lovely old magenta line. Okay. And so what I can do here is my, I know most people, they're just going to hit nav and they're going to be like, nothing's happening. Okay. And that's because I'm currently in VLOC. I need to switch over to um, GPS. So you go to your CDI, go ahead and click your CDI, swap over to GPS, and now I'm gonna start making the turn to fly on my direct to, okay? And so that's, that's it. I mean, for the most part, all these functionalities work. If you guys have any questions, you guys start having issues or you start experiencing issues, please let us know. We've tried to really optimize this as much as we can in, in order for you to have a good experience for people who, who do want that magenta line experience. Um, and, and yeah, we, we, have, we have a couple uh, more hot keys if you guys are interested hardware wise uh, about some of these things, especially how to link this entire unit to your controller. Um, you guys can go ahead and go read the, the flight manual under the FAQ question or questionnaire section. Um, we have included exactly what hotkeys are used in this unit. And then, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm flying my magenta line. I'll go ahead and go in so you can see what happens when I intersect. And then after I intersect, I'm just going to go ahead and close the video. I don't want to keep this one too long. I hope this information was useful to some of you if you've been asking questions out there. 
I'm currently flying version 1.0.1, .1, which will be coming out to our website version today. Um, and then um, Marketplace version 1.0.1 .1 will be coming to you guys very soon. I'm not going to say much, but I think a release is imminent on Marketplace. There's a lot of approvals that just took place today. So, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to overhype you guys, but release is very, 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 very soon. Okay, so I, I hope you guys are excited for that. For those of you who have been waiting on Marketplace and Xbox, you guys are in for a treat. This is a great aircraft. We've heard nothing but great things from the community. And I'm so humbled by all the support that you guys have been given our development group. I, I can't just, I, I'm so humbled, okay? You, you guys are supporting Got Friends. We have some big stuff on the horizon. So excited to share it with you guys in the future. And I'm just glad that we have you guys as part of our community. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It taught you a little bit about autopilot, maybe some new things that you didn't know you could do in the double ender. <laughs> you know, for most people who don't open that top panel, you probably don't even know you can do this. So um, enjoy, guys. I can't wait to see you all in the future. See ya.